Hello there. This is the first of two related videos concerned with publishing HTML5 banners from within Adobe Animate. This first one deals with the basic publish settings with special emphasis on file size. And the second one is concerned with making your banner ads compatible with the Google Ad Network. And the link for that one is included in the description below. So to get started, I have two HTML5 Canvas documents here in Animate, one for a museum and another one for a training company. They're both saved in the same folder. The first publish I'm going to do is for this museum one, I'm going to simply go up to the file menu and say publish. Then I'm going to have another look in that folder. And as you can see, it's created the HTML page for you that contains the canvas tag, which is an area of the page that can be drawn onto with JavaScript. So it has a related JavaScript file. It also has any images in the image folder, in the images folder. Now, those three elements, the images folder, the web page, the HTML page, and the JavaScript file need to be zipped up and sent over to whoever is responsible for publishing the advert, be it your web team, your agency, your marketing, yourself. They have to go across. I'm going to have a look with you at the next one now, this training advert. Quite commonly, when you're developing in Animate, you preview in the browser by pressing Control or on the Mac, Command, Enter. That fires up a temporary file for you. And you get to preview. But what it also does is the exact same type of publish that you get when you go up to the File menu and say File Publish. So if I have another look with you inside of that same folder, now we've got another HTML page, another JavaScript file, but the same images folder. And that makes it a bit tricky, right? Because now you've got images for both clients in the same folder. So we're going to sort that out with some real basic published settings right now. Let's see how we can resolve that. We can go up to the file menu this time and choose publish settings. And by default, your published files are published in the same folder as the working file, which is something we don't want. So we can click on this select publish destination uh, icon here to change that. And what I recommend is you create a new folder to publish inside of. So let me give that one a name. This is for the museum. So I'm calling that museum pub. Going to double click that one and say save. And then I'm going to say OK to it. OK um, keeps the settings as they are. Going to do the same sort of thing for the other one now. To go into the training company one and again file, publish settings, and browse off for its folder. Make sure I create a new folder for that one as well. Give that a name. Inside of there, say save and OK to this one. Now let's take a look at the first one in the browser with Control or Command Enter. Yeah, there's that one. And then let's have a look at the next one. Same thing. Preview it in the browser. Have a look at that lot. Fair enough. But the difference now is when we go and have a look in the folder that they were both saved in, they've got their own subfolders now for publishing. All right. So 
this one has got its own directory with its own image in there the other one's got its own folder and basically that makes life a lot more um, straightforward all you have to do is take each one of those and zip that up and the other one same sort of thing and then send that over to the powers that be great the next thing I want to tell you about is getting the file size down to a manageable level which is really important so this is something you should think of in advance when you're preparing your images but here's one I'm going to brief preview it in the browser have a look at it yeah okay I say I'm happy with that um, but I hadn't thought much about the actual file sizes here now look if I go and have a look in its folder this large one um, its publish folder is what is that 300 nearly 350k I'm using a benchmark of 150k I can tell at a glance that's not going to go through if I even compress that it's still going to be too big let's have a look at that how big is that yeah, 291 it's just not going to go I've gone ahead here are the original ones by the way there they are and the file size of that is 1.24 megabytes this next folder here I've cropped them so I've cropped out bits I don't really need and that's brought the file size down a, a f decent amount it's still going to be a bit too big though so once I've cropped them and just optimized them as best I can I usually then go over to tinypng.com the link is included in the description below and then what you could nicely do you see is you just take these images drag and drop them and check that out look how much that has reduced the file size and I bet you can't see any difference there's a lot of information about the, how they've optimized and so on so that's an excellent little thing to know about if you don't know it tinypng.com does a great job for you this folder contains the exact same images but it's been tinyfied and you can see that's gone down from 324k all the way down to a 106k and I want to show you a little bit of fine tuning next that makes a little difference here's a little tip for you when you want to just cut down a little bit more of that precious file size uh, it depends on how you export your images so on this one they're all the same file but look if I bring up this one's publish settings it's publishing it as a sprite sheet now that's my recommendation that's my usual go-to this next one I have a look at the publish settings for this one um, is exporting it as a texture that tends to be the default and this last one publish settings again is exporting it as image assets now let's just have a little bit of a look at the difference in file size when you export with those settings the image assets one is 179k that option always gives me the largest size so I don't generally bother with that one the sprite sheet version the one with the sprite sheet export is 157k and the texture one is 133k so the texture version here is the smallest but there is a little bit more to it than that because when I zip them up the sprite sheet one is now the smallest that's come in at 102k whereas the texture one is 116k I know it's a small amount but sometimes uh, a few kilobytes is the difference between it being accepted or rejected so there we go thank you for watching folks see you next time Bye now.